Good evening, lovely people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Court and More, and my name is Kelly. And thank you so much for having me tonight and teaching for you. A uh, massive thanks to Lisa. Lisa taught in my group last night and taught the most beautiful slow low yoga flow, which was uh, absolutely stunning. And uh, and we're doing a swap see now. So I'm um, in your group and I'm going to be teaching this core and more class, which I'm really excited about. So I use StreamYard for work, my lives um, and it's just a platform really to kind of go um, live on and it just improves the quality of the sound and the picture and everything like that. Hey, Liz. Ah, hopefully you're good. Please let me know how the audio is and I'll let you know a little bit about what this class is going to involve. Um, I'm not going to make it too jumpy around or anything like that. I want to make it quite focused. I am going to do it as an interval style class, but it's not an interval as in boom, 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 boom. It's going to be a holistic interval where we're going to be doing each exercise for about a minute. And then you're going to have 30 seconds to release in between each one. And every single exercise is designed to not only improve your core strength, not only improve your back health, but also your pelvic floor health, improve your posture, make you feel lovely. Ah, oh, thanks, Lisa. I'm just going to put some music on in the background that I'm going to use it for my warm up. So please let me know if that's too loud or if you need that louder or if that's just about right. So let me know how that is because I've I taught uh, a weighted class earlier and you know what it's like when you change classes you need to try and change the level of the audio and the only thing you can't gauge is kind of the sound of the music what's going on so let me know if that's if that's too loud for you Dan. I don't want it to be too too loud but I want you to go to hear it of course so this is going to be holistic intervals and we're not going to think about working holistically. We're going to think about working control, working strong, focus maybe a little bit more on the slow and controlled moves rather than the fast. Because you're going to be on each one for about um, a minute. Just slightly lower. Perfect. Thanks, Liz. The vocal will kick in in a minute. And again, I don't want that to be too loud. So I'll pitch it down a little bit. So let me know how that is. Oh, and I'm going to do this barefoot. But you can keep your shoes on, trainers on, whatever you want to do. We probably recommend no socks. Don't want you to slip. Is that okay? Do you want that quieter still? Please let me know. And also, I'm so sorry, but it's raining here in Cambridge. Ah, cool. And I teach in my conservatory. And anyone who knows anything about conservatories, when it rains, it just really sounds loud. So I'm so sorry about that if you can hear the rain sound. Some people find it quite therapeutic. <laughs> Some people really don't. So apologies about that. Please make sure you've got plenty of drink. This is my watering can. <laughs> <laughs> carry around with me and I'm on my second lot today try and drink at least two of those a day okay are you sure that's okay the vocals kicked in now it's not too loud we're gonna get going So gang, I'm going to get you to really think about your posture, really think about that awareness of how you're standing to start with, how you want to move, and give you some tips about your breathing and that engagement there as well. Ah, no worries. Yeah, they don't, that's okay. Anyone can comment, Liz. Anyone can comment. It will just come up with Facebook user instead. So if anyone wants to comment, please feel free. A little bit lower. Okay. 
So really thinking about kind of, you know, your alignment, your, your positioning as you're doing all of these moves. So I want you to bring your feet under your hip bones to start with, evenly distribute your weight between your right left foot. And then with your pelvis, I'm going to get you to bring your pelvis into a neutral position. We're going to rock our pelvis forward and back. Be aware of how that feels as you move. Is there any tightness going on in your back at all? Please kind of take some time there if you need to. All the way forward, point A. All the way back, point C. You can find point B in between. Nice and strong. Squeeze the muscles in the bottom. And then lengthen up the rest of the body. Grow lovely and tall. Your shoulders are going to come up and down away from your ears. We're going to start with a couple of nice natural breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Let the head drop. And roll the shoulders as you lift the head. Let's do that again. So we breathe. Breathe out. Release the arms. Head drops. Roll the shoulders as you bring your head up. Go again. Inhale. Exhale. Head drop. And roll the shoulders. Really nice. Now take your right arm. Lift it up and down. It's a little change over here. I want you to pull back on the shoulders. See how that feels into those shoulders. Take your time. Now the other arm, can you kind of sink it in there like a pendulum? One arm up, one arm down as you bring it through. Good work. Two more. One more. Now take your right arm in a figure of eight. You'll notice I've taken my legs wider. So open up that space there. Four more. Three, two, one. Take the right arm, lengthen, and then lean over to the side. Really nice. Now left arm, forward and back. Into your figure of eight. Be aware of how that feels. Open up the chest. You've got it. Two more. One more. Take the arm. Reach. Take it over. Stretch that waist. Beautiful. Now from here, wrap the arms. So we're going to really think about the abdominals being strong and secure here. Protective around your centre. Good work. Two more. One more. Take your right leg back, then the left. So we're going to squeeze the muscles in the bottom as you go back. Starting to really think about kind of strengthening through the lower back, but also pelvic floor engagement here. Perfect. Now, same arm, same leg. Lift up and back. That's it. So you're going to reach that arm away. Keep the abdominals strong. Well done. Two more. One more. Can we spine twist? Round to the right, back to centre, and round to the left. Now, you may want to have your hands facing forwards. You may wish you want to have your hands facing upwards, if that works for you. Pelvic bones stay facing forwards. Beautiful. One more. Okay, drop your arms. Lower your head. I'm going to turn side on so you can see me. Hands are going to come onto your thighs. I want you to create a lovely long spine. Now lift up through your back and then release. Go again. Lift up. Release. Round up. Release. One more time. Round up. Roll all the way tall. Give me a little baby back bend. And then inhale, exhale, roll all the way down to the floor. Hang over, bend through the knees, loosen up through the shoulders. Take a little bit of time here. Feel free to bend the knees, add a little rotation round the sides of your feet. That's it. And then whenever you're ready, roll up and through. 
roll forward. Good stuff. Now step forward onto the front of your mat. I'm going to step back with my right leg, open up on the side of my arm, change over to the other side. So open. Go again. So we breathe. Let the chest release. And let the calf stretch at the same time. Well done. Open. Now bring both arms forward. Swoop and squat. So we're moving a little bit quicker now. Yeah, let's go. And squat down. Good work. And squat. Two more. And squat. One more time. And squat. Perfect. Take your right leg. Rotate. And pedal. Then the left. Just release the feet. Up you come. Let that hip open. Good work. Now you can stay with this or rotate and squat again. That's up to you. There won't be too many of these. Rotate round. One more time. Good stuff. Now take your full roll down. Inhale. Exhale. Roll through. Relax through the back. Can we walk forward into a calf stretch? Lengthen out the back of the legs. Press the weight back. We're going to take a little pedal through the feet. Feel the stretch there, right, left. And then when that feels good for you, hold both legs straight. Bring your body weight forward. High plank here. So starting to engage these abdominals, drop the knees. Relax the feet. Drop the chest and then squeeze up through the shoulders. Maybe just a baby cobra. Maybe full cobra if that feels good for you. Just stretch the abdominals and then sink back, release. Perfect. Turn the toes under, lift back, and then walk the hands back to the feet. And I think we're ready. We're going to roll up and through. So I'm going to start you off on our intervals. Grab yourself a drink if you need to. Please let me know how the audio is as I change just the tracks over here, gang. So I'm going to start you off on your, your intervals here. And then with these intervals, we're going to start standing. and We're going to do some um, kind of standing, functional abdominal work to start with so our first minute take your hands to your head we're going to reach to the right little crunch on the side of your waist now my legs are open that's on purpose so i've got a little bit of engagement happening in pelvic floor i've turned my toes out as well so my heels are in which naturally contracts through the muscles in your bottom and you're stretching down on that side. Your rib cage to your hip bones. Breathe it away. Halfway there. We're listening for that halfway to change sides. That's it. So you're crunching down on that side. Be aware of how that feels. I want you to almost imagine you've got a belt around your waist, pulling you in, and you're reaching. Good stuff. So tell me whether or not. That audio is okay, gang. Four, three, two. Well done. Release. So I want you to try to hear the intervals. Hear you kind of when, when it says halfway so you know what you're doing. Beautiful. Now, this time, we're going to take the arms up. Same leg position, but this time you're going to reach down and then come up and reach down on the other side and come up. So we're going to alternate. Pelvis in your neutral spine position. Ready? Let's go. Reach. Down and up. So you're pressing through your feet. Really feel them connected to the floor. The other hand is reaching as high as you can onto that. Brilliant. Well done. So I want you to be able to feel 
that waist. Getting tighter there, getting stronger. Halfway there. Fantastic. Rib cage to hip bones. So you've still got the belt around the waist, you're still pulling in. Really strong as you lift and lower. Be aware of how that feels, how low you want to go. We're coming to center each time so you don't get dizzy, yeah? Good work. Draw those heels down. And then give yourself that little release again. Fabulous. Okay, are we warmer? We should be. We're going to come down to the floor. So your next move, we're going to push back to calf stretch and you're going to come forward to a high plank. Now, if you need to come on your elbows, please do. And if anyone needs to drop to the knees in the full plank, please do. Yeah? Okay. Plant your hands into the floor. Are you ready? We push back. Come forward, exhale. Inhale as you go back. Exhale as you draw forward. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Now, there's no rush, and I don't want you to feel like you've got to work at my pace. You absolutely don't have to. You're holding in from hip to hip. We're kind of using the calf stretch as a little release, and the work comes in on that high plank. Remember, you can drop your knees. Remember, you can come down onto the elbows. You're pulling in strong. You've got this. Woo. Press in. Yeah, well done. Okay, walk your hands back to your feet. Roll up and through. I want to do a little standing back exercise. We're going to take our arms wide into a V. Thumbs are going to draw back behind us. We're going to retract our shoulder blades and we're going to lift one leg and squeeze through the muscles in the bottom at the same time. So relax through your shoulders. Take your arms open. You ready? Let's go. Retract. So keep bringing the feet back down under your hip bones each time. Keep those abdominals strong as you pull back. I want to turn my back to you, so massive apologies about that. But I want you to see that I'm drawing my elbows down towards my back pockets. If I was wearing jeans, they'd be going down there. Retract. And I've got my thumbs going backwards to get the back of my shoulders to work a little bit more. So this definitely is really a postural exercise. Working through the upper back, working through the lower back, working through the glutes at the same time. You go at your pace. As you do this, try not to flare the tummy. So keep the abdominals strong, yeah? As you pull back, squeeze the muscles in the bottom. And roll. Woo. Okay, we're coming back down. We're going to take our right leg, lift it up. You're going to bring this into a knee pull. So we're going to lift up high, and then you're going to pull through. Bring your knee towards your chest. When it gets to the halfway, we'll switch sides. Yes? Okay, are we ready to go? Push back. Take the leg up, draw in. Inhale, exhale as you pull your knee through. Now these are tough, so if you need to come on your elbows, please, absolutely, no problem there. Focus on the pulling in. The lift up is kind of a release. Good work. There it is. Let's change in. So you're drawing the knee towards your chin. You're keeping your neck in alignment with your spine. 
nice and strong here strong through your center strong through your back push let's get one more in good work knees down let's sink walk those fingertips away open up the hips so take a moment here just to release good work I'm bringing you on your side so we're going to place our elbow underneath our shoulder I'm going to come up onto my knee but I will show you a harder variation as well we're going to extend that arm overhead and I'm going to pull the knee in so my knee comes to my elbow little side crunch now pull your shoulder away from your ear so you're lengthening up good work if anyone wants to work harder you're going to come into a full side plank yes gang are we feeling okay are you warm the arm goes overhead to really open up through the side body that's it pelvis stays level Woo. how's that feeling that whole minute on this side ah well done release push back again wowzers Open up the hips as much as you wish. Good work. Okay, before we come on the other side, bring yourself to seated. Relax through the feet. So from here, I'm going to tilt back into a little half roll and then rise. So just as far as you want to go. Ready? Come back. Just a little tilt. How's that feel? So you might find if your back's quite stiff and if your hip flexors are quite tight, that this does not feel good for you. You might feel like you kind of get stuck a little bit. So if that happens, feel free to use the hands onto the legs. We can come up and through and give ourselves a little bit of support here. Absolutely. Shoulders away from the ears, and you don't have to come back so far. And you're certainly not rushing to so stay nice and controlled, using that breath each time. Inhale, exhale, Woo. take a little release. Are we okay? I want you to come round on the other side good work so gang even though I'm using StreamYard you can still comment don't worry <laughs> I want you to place that elbow under your shoulder we're gonna lift your hip up and we're gonna come on the other side are we ready lifting away draw in and away to so remember your options if you feeling strong tonight coming to that full side plank position that's it you're bringing your elbows side of the body on there well done hopefully you're feeling this as you do it and it's really working through the obliques fantastic press Good work. Really pressing the waist and the hips away from the floor onto this side of the body. Yeah? And if I'm going a bit too quick, you go slower. Or if you want to speed up, you can. This is your class, your practice. Yeah, well done. Sink it back. Release here. So again, I want to do some strength work for our back, focusing through pelvic floor as well here at the same time. I'm going to bring you on to all fours. 
We're going to come nice and strong. We're going to take a superman, but out on a diagonal rather than forward. So I don't want you to come forward. We're going to come out wide. We're going to open. And then lower. Inhale, exhale, and you lift. Now your abdominals are going to engage here as well. You're out on that diagonal plane, lifting up. I want you to pull your thumb up again. So you're working through the back of your shoulder and you're flexing your foot, engaging the muscles in the bottom. Inhale, exhale, lift. Well done. So you really change when you want to. Don't wait for me. The fact that I've opened up your pelvis into this wide diagonal position through your leg really makes pelvic floor muscles having to fire up because the outside of your glutes are kicking in, which is your bottom. We've got an even distribution of our weight. And release back. Well done. Stretch it away. You're doing fantastic. So I'm bringing you through. Okay, we're coming to a seated position. I'm going to take a little rotation and then bring the knees in. So we're going to come. One, two, in and away. Yep. See how you feel? Maybe roll up a little towel and place it back behind you if you need a bit more support. So I'm going to rotate. One, two, in and away. One, two, in and away. Good. Now, the option is we could do one leg if that feels better for you. Otherwise, there, there, in and press. Woo! How's this feeling? Can you feel it? You're working the sides of the waist and then down the center. One, two. Keeping the chest open and your shoulders down and back. My gosh. You're doing so good. Let's stay strong. Well done. Release. Okay, come down into the floor. Think about these abdominal muscles. We're going to take a sit-up. Now, I'm not a massive fan of sit-ups, but instead, we're going to extend one leg, come back, and then extend the other way, yeah? So you're going to get a little bit more work into your lower abs. Try not to pull your head. Your chin stays off the chest. Are you ready? Let's breathe out. So the key here, a lot of people think that they've got to pull the head with the hands, and you really don't. Instead, let your head rest in your arms. Let them rest in your hands. So it's almost like the head is resting back. Let it feel kind of heavy. So instead, your chest is coming up. We've got this little crunch. And you're extending your leg away. Breathe. Fantastic. Halfway there. You've got this. Exhale. Tight through those tummy muscles. That's it. And I'm keeping my elbows back. I'm not kind of crunching in, closing up my chest or my head in any way. Nice and strong. Four, three, two. Well done. Hug your knees to your chest. Are we okay? <laughs> Losers for ouchie. Hopefully you can feel it. All right. So I'm going to bring you back into a neutral spine position as you lay here. We're going to lift the legs up. We're going to bring the arms up with them like a dead bug. Same arm, same leg here. Now, can you stay on that side? So normally, I know traditionally in fitness, we always work kind of opposite arm to leg. But I'm getting you to channel all down one side of your body. So same arm, same leg. 
The other knee stays over the hip bone. The other arm stays up for the moment. And on the halfway, we change. There it is. Ready? Here we go. Press. Now, you may notice you've got one side stronger than the other. It's pretty normal. Most people have. Just like you've got one arm stronger than the other, one leg stronger than the other, one side of your abdominals, one side of your back stronger. Four, three, two, Superb. Arms come open. Let's roll our knees from right to left. Now, a huge factor to your back health, your core kind of health, pelvic floor health, are your glute muscles, your bottom muscles. So I want to bring your feet down into the floor. We're going to roll up through your spine and come up to like a hip bridge position. Nice and strong here. We're going to extend one leg. And then from here, I'm going to open and close. So what I've done is not only am I working through the muscles in your bottom and the back of the leg on this side that's staying still, but as I open that leg out, I'm getting the engagement through the abdominals. And again, you've got that opening up of the pelvis. So this is why this class is called Core and More. It's so much more than just kind of tummy exercises. Everything is designed on purpose. Breathe it away. That's it. Are those hip bones staying up? Keep it coming. I know that's strong. Woo. You're going to feel it in the supporting side. Yay, feet down. Okay, articulate your back. Vertebrae by vertebrae. And then roll up slow. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Give me a couple of shoulder bridges. Just releasing. Lifting and lowering. Feel that back into the floor. How's that feel? Get ready. Oh, we're ready. We know what we've got to do, don't we? On the other side. Stabilize. Extend the other leg. Open. Close. Have your pelvis so that it's level, gang. Naturally, it will want to drop and tilt. And I don't want you to put any unnecessary twist on your pelvis. I want you to stay really nice and strong as you open and close. So think about how that feels as you do it. Open and close. And if you find that your hips start to drop, just push them up a little bit higher. Woo. These are strong. Feel it through the back of the leg, bottom on this supporting side. Push those hip bones up. Squeeze through the bottom. And as you open that leg out, pelvic floor having to fire, lower abs, yeah, let's take that roll. Release the back. Inhale, exhale, rise. Absolutely superb. Feel that release for you. Okay, we're coming back through the abdominal muscles. We're going to lift the legs up, tabletop. We're going to take one leg here, open back and in. So let's go. There. Open, back, change legs. So we're going to alternate these. You're extending the leg and going as low as that feels good for you. But there's no change in your back. You're really firing up through those lower abs as you do it. So be mindful. What's happening in the back? Is there any change? Ooh. Press. Keep this coming if you can. There. Push. So really feel where that's working for you. You might want to have your arms lovely and wide. 
opening up your chest. Good stuff. Press. Push it away. And release. Good work. Take that little rock. Very nice. Okay, can you come back to sitting? So I'm going to give you the choice. You can either stay with a half roll, like we did earlier, or we can roll all the way down into the floor and then roll all the way up. So again, do what feels right for you and your body. I'm going to extend my arms up. And we roll down. The arms come above the head. Try not to let the back arch coming into a neutral spine position. We lift and we lower. Really think about how that feels as you're going up and down. So do you need the support? Do you need to place those hands onto the thighs? Give yourself a little bit of encouragement there if that works for you. So we want to try to avoid kind of flinging ourselves up. And I know you might be saying to me, Kelly, that's easier said than done. Because I know that this is affected by your hip flexors, by your back. We've got Bentley Bow joining us. This is Bentley. Well done. Hug your knees to your chest, just like you have Lisa's cookie. Bentley comes and joins in most of the sessions. Good work. Give yourself a little bit of a breather here. Okay. So, gang, I'm going to take this through. We're going to take our arms open. We're going to bring our legs to tabletop. We're going to take a knee roll side to side. Now, try not to let your legs collapse to the floor. So, it looks like this. We're coming over. And then pull back and come straight back over. Now, the longer you have your legs, the harder this is. But your shoulders stay down in the floor. They're your stabilizers. So I want you just to think about how that feels as you move and you're going over. So do you want to keep the legs bent? Or do you want to straighten the legs? Does that feel good for you? If your shoulder starts to lift from the floor, it's probably an indication that you're probably going a little bit too far too soon. So rein it back in a bit. That's it. Keep pulling in strong. Moving those legs from right to left. Yeah, well done. Good work. Hug the knees to the chest. Hopefully we're feeling good. Hopefully we're feeling okay. We are going to do two more intervals, gang, and then I'm going to stretch you out. All right? So I'm bringing you over. We're coming back into a plank position. I'm going to bring you on the elbows for this one, though. We're going to take our feet wide. I'm going to rock my hip from side to center and side to center. Here we go. So we drop down into the hip. We come back to center. Now, absolutely, you can do this with your knees down. You just rock and lift the knee over. So you'd actually take one knee off the floor if you're going to keep your knees down. Otherwise, the key is to have your feet wide so you can rotate. Now, absolutely, if you want to, you could come onto straight arms here. Holding strong. You're tilting through. Being aware of how that feels as you move with each one that you're doing. Relax the hands. Put the tension in the tummy. Four, four, three, two, one. Yes. Release. My gosh. Okay, one more. One more. Can we do this? Just one more interval, please. All right, come over. Last one. 
So I'm going to bring you into a little crisscross action, which is going to then extend through. So hands to the temple, crisscross, elbow to knee. Now extend the leg and rotate the arms over. We do four of each. Four, three, two, let's extend. Four, three, two, elbow to knee. Four, three, two, one, extend. Twist that upper body. Four, three, two, one, and rotate. My gosh, four, three, two, one, only halfway. <laughs> Woo! Four. That's it. Are you breathing or have you held your breath? Come on, talk to me. Even if you're swearing at me, at least I know you're breathing. And release. Amazing work. Gang, take a full body stretch. Just ease off here. Wow, good work. I really hope you felt that. That's strong. It was strong, strong work there. Working through those abdominals. Absolutely superb. Okay. Take a full body release. Now, I know your neck would have felt that. That's quite normal. I know you'll probably feel quite tight now in the shoulders. So we're going to help them release as well. Let's take the hands behind the head like you're going to do a sit up. But I want you to flex your feet and just lift your head and look to them. Feel the stretch down the back of the neck. And then lower your head down. This time as you lift up, we're going to turn the head to one side. Lower down and then change that to the other side. And then bring that back to center. Good work. And then from here, hug your knees into your chest, gang. Take a little bit of a breather. Release there. Just as far as you want to go. Slowly bring yourself up to sitting. Take one hand down. Reach over with the other side. So lengthen out the side of your body. Change sides when that feels good for you. So we're coming over, lifting, releasing. Hands go back behind us. Let's lift the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades back together. Really nice. And then slowly bring yourself round. Back to your calf stretch. Lengthen away. Slowly you'll bring your hands back to your feet. Bend through the knees and then roll up slow. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring the neck and the head up last. You're going to roll your shoulders up and back and release. Now take your right leg back behind you. Right arm is going to come over. We stretch here. Beautiful. Release there. Now change sides. So the other leg comes round and we lift over. Feel that stretch, that opening up. Fantastic. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale, roll down. I want you to shake out your shoulders, shake out your neck, release through your back. Let that relax for you. Inhale, exhale, and you rise. Roll the shoulders back. Really nice. From here, just take your right leg, place it in towards your bottom. I want you to take a quad stretch because we did so much work where the hip flexors were going to fire. So I want you just to stretch out through that thigh, out through that hip a little bit there. Push the foot into the hand rather than the bottom. Change over side. So when that feels good for you, you're going to push that forward and through. I've got a feeling my batteries are going to die in my mic. Any point. It's flashing at me, letting me know. Let's take a breath. Exhale, release. Go again. Inhale. Exhale. Bring the feet under the hip bones. Right arm above the head and the left. Right hand forward. 
and the left. Right palm in and the left. Give yourselves and each other a superb round of applause. Well done, gang. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I really hope you feel okay. Let me just turn that off for a moment. And uh, I'm going to just change. Oh, let me just unmute that. There we are. Um, please let me know if you've got any questions at all. Otherwise, obviously, if there's anything that you want to kind of ask about, obviously you've got Lisa, who's absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, you, she can answer any of your questions as well as me. But if there's anything that you, you want to ask about, please don't hesitate to, to get in touch. Otherwise, thank you so much for your energy and uh, your perseverance. I really hope you felt that, but also in a good way, in an enjoyable way. Thank you so much. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me as well and allowing me to teach in your group again ah oh, thank you have a wonderful christmas everyone can we believe it that you know this time next week is only going to be a couple of days away so make sure you look after yourself and each other yay hello cool <laughs> that was wasn't it thank you so much ah oh, thank you i'll go back into facebook afterwards and i'll uh, message back on all the comments as well have a wonderful rest of your evening everybody Take care, big love to all of you. And, uh, and like I said, have a lovely, lovely Christmas, a safe and happy, healthy Christmas and a lovely new year. Take care, gang. Bye-bye.